there for you, you, you know, for the night watch position you applied for. Well, it's safe to say you got the job. Not like there was much competition anyway, but you're hired. You start on Monday of next week. Tomorrow you're gonna wanna stop by the place, see Joey. He'll set you up with your uniform, your keys to the place, yada yada, yada. You, you get the idea. He'll tell you what you need to do for the place. <sighs> Alright, that's enough out of me. I've got a lot of things to tend to. Uh, make sure you call me back if you need anything. over this place for the next couple of weeks, I guess. Well, any new employee would need someone to guide them, and that's, uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, so welcome to Tubbyland, I guess. Uh, you're the second guy to have worked here. In this position, I mean. Uh, the last guy quit because of, uh, conditions. I'm not entirely sure what's up with him, but apparently it was enough to make him want to leave, which is... Concerning. I know the big boss man already briefed you on everything, so I won't be getting into the whole legal mumbo-jumbo. I'm just here to tell you how to do your job. So, you probably already saw it, but there should be a tablet to the left of your room that you can flip open. Uh, you can use that to check all the rooms around the building. You know, to make sure that no one breaks in and whatnot. Uh, now the last guy... What was his name? Uh, Evan something. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the point is, he left me some notes on how to handle your job. So, let's see here. Uh, I already mentioned the tablet, and you can use the... Oh! Uh, right. I almost forgot to mention the actual features of the tablet. Since the building is really old, we hooked up some stuff into the tablet to make your job a bit easier. Uh, you could do things like turn the room power on and off, use the intercom system, and we even gave you a flashlight, which is pretty useful considering how dark the place gets at night. It's not worth much, but it should get the job done. Though, something is worth mentioning. Uh, we did notice that the breakers are a bit faulty. Like, with the building being abandoned and stuff, so sometimes rooms can just shut off on their own. Uh, just tap that little lightning bolt icon, and it'll turn back on in no time. Uh, you can try playing it around with it while I talk if you really need to. Uh, else? Oh, right. Uh, something else that you absolutely need to know is, uh, the animatronics get a bit weird. Like, they can walk around. No, seriously, the robots can move. Uh, apparently it was one of their show features or something. Well, last week we reactivated one of them, the uh, red one to be more specific. She's been doing really well too, especially considering she doesn't even have any eyes. Honestly, I uh, wouldn't really be surprised if this is what scared that Evan guy off. Those things are already really freaky, and the fact that they can move just makes it even worse. Now, you shouldn't really be in danger, though it might be a good idea to keep it away from your office, seeing as it's a big machine that could easily injure you just by moving incorrectly. Honestly, this place has so many hazards, but we signed the contracts, right? Anyways, I don't really know where she is right now, but I do have an idea on how you could keep her at bay. Remember that intercom system I mentioned? It's wired to play little bits of the show tapes, you know, for performances and whatnot. Uh, maybe you can use that to keep her away from you. She can't see, so maybe she has to rely on audio. So if you see her heading in your direction, try playing the intercom in a room near her. It should lead her away, but if it doesn't, then all I can really recommend is trying to stay out of her way. Alright, well, I think that's enough for me tonight. Uh, remember to use your camera, watch out for those faulty breakers, and avoid the eyeless hulking mess heading towards your room so that we don't get sued. Sound cool? 
Good. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to get going. See ya. short, seeing as how I already went through all the basics last night, uh, I just wanted to let you know of a few things. Uh, earlier this morning, we got two of the robots up and working again. The, uh, the one to the left of the main stage, uh, the, the one without the head, and some old vacuum cleaner thing. So I took some notes of the behavior, you know, of the headless one, and I thought I'd run them by you. So, let's see, uh, right, so, she's a lot more aggressive than the other one. Like, we noticed she was being almost hostile towards the engineers when they were working on her, which shouldn't even be possible. Uh, thankfully, none of them got hurt, but she did almost hit one of them. Maybe she thinks they're tummy toast or something. <sighs> well, anyway, point is that you should definitely avoid her. Uh, she probably won't obey the intercom system like the other one does, so hiding is probably your best bet. So, if you see her getting too close for comfort, try looking for a spot out of view and just wait for her to pass by. As for uh, the, the vacuum cleaner, I don't really have anything worth mentioning. The CEO himself worked on him. Uh, strictly kept us from being in the same room at the same time, too. Said it was too dangerous or something. I don't know. Anyway, I guess if you find wherever he is, just don't stay around him for too long. For some reason, the CEO still doesn't want us around it. I don't really get why, considering it's basically just a big Roomba, but whatever. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight. Uh, you'll hear from me tomorrow as well. Later. something last night. Uh, I'm sure you already noticed it, but that purple one in the hallways probably started moving. Uh, he's the one with no legs. Uh, honestly, it's amazing that he knows how to crawl, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, so, I did notice something about that one as well. Uh, me and the engineers were testing how the characters responded to audio frequencies earlier. Uh, Lala, the uh, headless one, uh, completely ignored it. Poe tried bashing into speakers, which... I guess was to be expected, and as for the purple one, Tinky Winky, he started spazzing out and even went as far as to try leaving the room. So I guess he doesn't like high-pitched sounds. So anyway, that flashlight in your cameras makes a pretty loud buzzing sound when turned on. Maybe he won't like that? I don't think he'd respond to the intercom since it's a lot softer, but the buzzing should definitely cause some kind of reaction. Uh, whether it's a good or bad one is up for debate, but I guess that's for you to find out. Uh, that's pretty much all I noticed today. Tomorrow we're going to try to get the green one up and working. Uh, he's to the right of the stage, you know, the one that actually has a head. Uh, he seems to be the most stable of the gang, so we're not really sure how he's going to respond. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, I've been getting this weird vibe whenever I come in. Like, I'm not the only one either. The other employees said they hate coming in here just as much as you probably do. There's just something so unworldly, like, about this whole place. Not sure what's wrong here, but there are so many weird and specific rules, man. The animatronics aren't any better either. I'm sure you'd know about that more than anyone here. I'm gonna try digging around some files tonight, see if I can find some answers. listening to these, I, uh, found some stuff, about the robots, I mean, uh, and it turns out I'm not crazy. Uh, there, there's something going on around here, and it's, it's not good. I, I don't really know how much I can say over the phone, I mean, who knows who's listening, but I 
think I might be on to something. This whole company goes way deeper than I ever thought. Oh, uh, right, about last night. Uh, we got that green one up and working. The one to the right of the stage. Uh, he, he can move now. Uh, I didn't get the chance to monitor him today, though. Too busy going through stuff. Uh, all I can really recommend is just getting out of view. Uh, one of his eyes is screwed up, so uh, maybe his vision is bad or something? Uh, okay, okay, look, back to the point. I, uh, uh give me a second. Uh, come in. Hey, we need to talk. Uh, what's up? Just curious about something. Did you see anyone going through the company records earlier? A lot of them are misplaced. Uh, no, why? Well, I just wanted to know, since you weren't out with the other guys today, what were you doing exactly? Just paperwork. Nothing really special. Oh, really? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, but what exactly are you getting at here? Well, all I'm saying is those papers really aren't any of the employee's business. You know that, right? Yes. And anyone who does find those papers should come directly to me with them. Correct? Uh, sir, I know... Okay, just know... I've got my eye on you. Try anything funny, and it'll result in termination. Am I making myself clear? Crystal clear, sir. Good, good. Hey, actually, can you come in tomorrow night? I just need you to check on something very, uh, important. Uh, sure. What's the issue? Oh, nothing. I just need you to take a quick look around the place. I think I lost some of those documents. And I'm assuming I'm not supposed to read them. That would be correct. Uh, all right. Well, I'll leave you to it. Good night, kid. Good night, sir. Sorry about that. I'll call you back tomorrow. Something's definitely going on here. Uh, good luck, dude. I 